certainly because of the disappointment that this is not a bipartisan bill. And, and in reality, it, it's really faux cost control. These are uh, meager cost controls when the state needs significant improvement and, and restructuring of the way we do our business. And I think in a, in a grander scheme, this bill is symbolic of the session, symbolic of a session that has been uh, rancorous and, in my opinion, excessive, excessively partisan. And symbolic of the session in another important way. It seems like the solution to our big problems is more control, more government control, be it rent control, be it gun control, or now price fixing uh, of the health care sector. And I think that is, uh, is just not the right way to go. There's so much more innovation we can do. And innovation comes when we listen to all those who have a perspective. And that's where excessive uh, partisanship really weighs in heavily. I think many of us feel that there is important input and work and, and thought into meaningful cost control that really has been largely ignored. That's ignoring some important input, some important experience. And you might say that, oh, there might be a, a token Republican vote for this bill like we've seen for other, but that's not the same as meaningful and thoughtful input from a d diverse set of people who have life experiences that can be brought to solve these big problems for the state of Oregon. And specifically, applying price control to the healthcare sector really is a big step backwards. This state is known for its innovation with regards to health care transformation, doing big, bold, new, interesting things. Price control? Price fixing? Really? We're so much better than that? We can be better than that. You know, long ago, when I was, was much m younger and, and I think had uh, more hair also, my wife and I, we, we thought deeply about where we had want to go when we finished our medical school training and where we had want to go to start our careers in the healthcare sector. And, and we thought about lots of places across the country. But at that time in the mid 90s, Oregon was really known for its innovation in healthcare. Not only in the science of healthcare, not only in surgery, and both my wife and I are surgeons, so we are attractive of that. Things such as the trauma system that we set up in this state back in the 90s. Very innovative, as you can imagine, very attractive to two young surgeons who would want to come to Oregon, but also innovative with regards to how we deliver health care services. Remember the Oregon Health Plan, uh, a, a variety of delivery system innovations that Oregon has been known around the country for doing. But now we go back to something that is a a methodology of, of cost control which has really failed almost everywhere it's been introduced.